I'm going to work problems number 48 and 49 on one video because they're really the same type of question. What you're asked to do is to take the expression that you're given and to reduce it to lowest terms. One of the things you need to remember when you're reducing to lowest terms is you should factor first and then cancel. So let's look at the paper and see how we need to approach these problems. The first question we're going to look at, question number 48. We have x minus 3 in the numerator and 3 minus x in the denominator. Now, if I factor the numerator, x minus 3 factors really not in any fancy way. The only way it truly factors is to pull out a 1. So the truth is it doesn't look a lot different than it started. Now in the denominator there's going to be a difference. The lead term in the denominator is really not 3, believe it or not. The lead term is x. All right, That's, that's what's leading the pack in the denominator. And x has a negative in front of it, so what we should do is factor out a negative 1. When I pull a negative 1 or factor a negative 1 out of the denominator, we're left with negative 3 and we're left with a plus x. Notice, negative 1 times negative 3 to give me 3, negative 1 times x to give me the opposite of x. Now, what's even nicer now, if you'll notice this, in the numerator we have an x minus 3 and in the denominator even though it may look different to you this term or this factor is really x minus 3 as well. x minus 3, x minus 3 match and cancel. 1 divided by negative 1 becomes negative 1 and that is what that expression became in lowest terms negative 1. Problem number 49 is going to work very much the same way. In problem number 49, even though it looks like 2 is in the front, the lead term there is truly x. And that has a negative 1 in front of it, which is going to prompt me to factor out a negative 1. When I factor out a negative 1, I have negative 2 plus x. In the denominator, my lead term is a 5x. I factor out a 5, and in parens I have x minus 2. Now notice what happens. x minus 2 on the top, x minus 2 on the bottom. Even though this may look weird to you, it's really x minus 2. It matches this x minus 2. They're an identical match, so they cancel, and we're left with the answer negative one-fifth. And that's it.